Kingdom Hearts is enough autosave. Well, no, but that's a stylistic choice. Hey, look, I'm bothering you. Ow. Am I bothering you? Am I bothering you? Am I bothering you? Am I bothering you? <laughs> okay, let's go find uh, City Hall. wide open areas. So much. So much exploration. Oh, ow. Cool. Well, that works too. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Ow. Oh, my, my poor underdeveloped kneecaps. <laughs> oh, my shin bones. And the, and the longer to fall, the more. Right. As is usual. Okay, that was cool. Cool. I think all, every character will just has one line when picking up something. No more clowning around. Yeah, probably because of again. No more clowning around. Yeah, lots of clowning around here. This is another thing I was eternally disappointed I couldn't do. Grind rails. Have you tried? It's friggin' hard! I haven't, I'm, but I'm not a skateboarding okay. person. Yeah, no, it's ridiculously hard to grind a rail for even like half a second. <laughs> and we zip right past the coin. There we go. Excellent. Like, yeah, there's there's pretty much no way an actual skater in real life could maintain a grind for that long. Oh, the grass killed our momentum. I'll just cheat it. Or not. It doesn't, it doesn't look like it can. I think you have to use the skateboard of the blades. Developers? I don't like you. Why? Because they're making you do a stunt to get the thing that you have to get a, do a stunt to get? <laughs> Talk about an mouthful. Stay on target. Nope, nope. Negative. Just impacted on the surface. That one movie I just I saw not too long ago, Ender's Game. Oh God. Okay. Oh, I'm so sorry. Pretty awesome. Okay. You. You haven't read the book though. The, that movie just completely missed the point of everything the book had. I had to say. Completely missed everything. Yay, finally. Eh, I still loved it, but I haven't read the book. No, if... if God, I'm, I'm actually really mad they made a Hollywood movie out of it, because... I mean, A, it's Hollywood. They screw up basically everything they have. They, they get their hands on. Let's see, other things I saw recently were... A movie that just came out this year called Sugar Daddies. Oh, God. And then one from 2000. 14 called a wife's nightmare. None of these sound good. A wife's nightmare, um, well, sugar dice, I'm sure you can guess, but, um, Ugh. for a wife's nightmare, this guy, her, his, cool. this, um, the son's mom, she was in the hospital being treated for, um, like, schizophrenia type stuff. And she uh, came back, and while she was in the hospital, her husband met someone else. Basically cheating on her. Okay. Starting to see where this is going. And 
Um. Oh, ha! Ah! A little advertisement for Tack. And at one point, the daughter, er, the girl he met, comes to their home, acting like his long lost daughter. Wow, well, what? Long lost daughter. And I, I repeat, lol, well, what? And to summarize that, by by the end of the movie, the son comes home, walks into the bedroom to see them having sex. Oh, lovely. Yeah. No, this is not a this is not a uh, movie I would enjoy at all. I'll just I'll just stick to Pacific Rim, thank you. And then he uh beats up beats up his father. Ugh. Yeah. Sounds like uh. Two legs, two arms, head. Jack Sounds like a bundle of joy. You know, I quite enjoyed it. It had a good story. Yeah. Then again, I... It, it sounds to me like tragedy porn. That's what it sounds like. Well, it wasn't heavily focused on the porn. That was more sugar daddies. What I mean by, by saying that is, oh, look at these characters. Look at how sad and tragic they are. Aren't they so sad and tragic? Isn't everything about this just so sad and tragic? Don't you feel sorry for them? Blah, blah, blah. Characters continue being miserable. Bad things keep happening to them. Basically, the whole goal is et cetera, that... Etc., etc. The whole goal was that she, she wanted... They, the husband wanted to make her seem like she was having another manic episode, so he would have a reason to break up with her and go with this other woman. Yeah. But by the end... Joy. But by the end of the sh um, movie, he lost both women because of his... Um, Selfishness or whatever. Yay. <sighs> really? There we go. Cool. Now we only need one more. So I guess we're just gonna go off and get that before we even talk to this police officer. You know, we should probably talk to this police officer about all of the missing sand on the beach. Eh, let's collect some shiny stuff first. Two legs, two arms, head. Check. <laughs> you sure you're not missing your torso there? Nah, considering he's like 70% torso, I'm pretty sure he, he'd uh, notice if that was missing. I wonder if he's counting his waist when he says legs. Uh, like maybe? I mean, that's where they would logically be attached. Okay, come on, last going, I need you. We don't need it yet, do we? Let's just go talk to the officer and see if a new area opens up. So we'll probably have an easier time finding an another silver coin in that area than just hunting around here for a while. Ow. Hey, there's Officer Shirley. Mm, thank you, knee pads. <laughs> yeah. Always wear your protective gear, kids. I hope nobody saw that. Officer Shirley! <laughs> Officer Shirley! Something I can do for you children? Normally, I'm the one that comes looking for you. We know what's happening to the sand. Golem Industries is using robots to steal it. We saw one under the pier. Now, kids, I'm not saying I don't believe you, but why would he do that? Mr. Golem seems to be trying to help. She now, does have a point. Sure of this, you need to bring me some evidence, and I promise I'll look into it. No Actual problem, reasonable officer. police officers. I just have to point and shoot, and we'll have him totally sprung. You just um, make sure you get ready okay. first. I'm not going to be impressed by any false alarms about missing kids. Understand? Gotcha, Officer Shirley. We'll be good. For a given value of good. Because, I mean, we're, what, 12 years old and complete <laughs> hooligans? Okay, so... Evan Whoa, hey! Uh... Who the hell is this? Eddie, Prince of another world. Oh, well, thank you for inser introducing I yourself. I you wouldn't do that. What do you want, Eddie? Today's freaky enough already without you weirding everybody out. The prince of another world craves entertainment. You, rocket girl, shall complete my challenge if you wish to gain the prize. 
What are you talking about, Eddie? We're a little busy here. Whoever brings me all of the masks of the netherworld will learn the answers to many dark secrets. Such as? Look, my mom got mad about the whole netherworld thing and threw out all my masks. Except the one we're wearing, apparently. Everything I know about the sand going missing. Okay, Eddie, I'll get your mask, but it better be worth it. If you tell us it's robots, then too bad. We already know. Oh, I, okay. I figured this was go just going to be another like long, longer side quest. So four minutes to go collect all of the masks. along the road to do it. Whee! Ding. Now that's technique. Gotta run the rail. Oh. Why is the music so creepy? Masks of the world. I guess. Sorry, Reggie. Ah, there it is. Good shame. Oh, man. There we go. It's okay. You're intact, right? In front of Eddie, no less. Alrighty. Do 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 do. All right, Eddie. Here are your masks. Now, spill the beans. What do you know? Well, I heard my dad. I mean, the Lord of the Netherworld talking about Gollum Industries and how they've bought a lot of land there. Okay. I heard that Mackenzie found the playground, and she was really mad about something. You should go check it out. Later, dude. Okay. So we go check out what's going on here. So yeah, if we want to, we can change character at any time, but honestly, I don't have any particular attachment to any of the rocket power crew, so... I don't really care. So now we head back to the pier. Uh, hope no one. I hope no one saw you land on your feet. Okay. <laughs> Robot hassles. Just use your trusty hockey stick. Yeah, because everybody knows that hockey is the one weakness of all robots. injuries in a Tony Hawk game. And Skate 3. Ooh, the injuries in Skate 3. Oh, actually, there's some pretty good injuries. And, the, and some DVRs I have of World's Wildest Police videos. Oh, joy. It's about the same thing, right? How did you know? I may be five, but I'm not stupid. I was gonna make sand castles today, but there's no sand. So instead, my parents were gonna take me to the teddy bear picnic at the lake. But when I get there, 
The lakes are shut. No water, they say. No water? In the lakes? Good grief. The, All I, I know is no teddy bears picnic, no beach, and that's boring. I got a bunch of useless bus passes left over now. Hmm. Useless bus passes, you say? Hmm. I don't suppose you'd be willing to, I don't know, give those up? So we have to go investigate the lakes. She's right in front of me, you know. Trade you something for those passes. It's like you're reading my mind. Okay. Shooting gallery. Big purple and green stuffed dinosaurs. I tried to win it earlier, but they said I was too late. You bring that back later, and maybe we can make a deal. Maybe meaning yes, yes, we can totally make a deal. She wants that purple and dinosaur, and green dinosaur. She wants it so bad. Okay, so now we uh, have to go play the mini game. About time I saw some action. Oh my aching butt! We're sorry for you and your butt. What? That was a robot, not a twister. Okay. That's it, I retired. Sometimes it's fun to make them do it on purpose so you can hear what they say. Yeah. It slows us down a bit, though. So hopefully there will be another... Hopefully there will be... I'm sure we're going to hear plenty later. So I'm... Guessing... Ah, yeah, okay. So we'll be, we'll be able to find the, the next uh, coin here that we need pretty easily.